The Lagos State House of Assembly on Monday dismissed all allegations of corruption against its speaker, Mudashiru Obasa. The House also passed a vote of confidence on him, describing the allegations as frivolous and unfounded. The nine-man ad hoc committee of the House, led by Victor Akonde, submitted their report on the various allegations leveled against the speaker. An online medium had reported the speaker operated 64 bank accounts with the same bank verification number. He was also alleged to have spent 258 million naira to print invitation cards for the inauguration of the night assembly. The committee in its report said the allegations were deliberate misinformation. The committee recommended that the clerk should investigate the leakage of documents of the House to the press and punish Erin Staffords. Joining us now is Kunle Ajayi, General Secretary, United Action for Democracy. Thank you for joining us on the news. Good morning. Good morning to you. What's your thought on the vote of confidence by the Lagos State House of Assembly on the speaker? Yeah, I, I feel that the, the Lagos State House of Assembly cannot be a judge in their own case. They are neither EFCC nor ADE ICPC. So all of the allegations and the documents have not been denied by the House of Assembly. And so because they are not an official uh, financial crime commission or any judicial commission of inquiry that has been uh, constituted by the 1999 Constitution, their position is simply political. So the position of the civil society is that an independent inquiry by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission or the ICPC is what tenable before the people, before the law, before posterity and history. All right. We understand the allegations were made uh, via an online um, media uh, outfit, uh, but shouldn't these evidence have been presented to the EFCC? Who is following up on it? Yes. I, as, as General Secretary of United Action for Democracy, we have written the EFCC, not only UAD, a lot of other civil societies have written the EFCC. HEDA have also written the EFCC, and we are following up by, with other letters and petitions. So we hope that the EFCC come up. If they are not are, are being bribed or taken down, they should come up openly with their position and ask Obasa to come and face a panel of inquiry at the EFCC or at the ICPC. This money that has been spent does not belong to anybody within the Houses of Assembly. And if you look at it, members of the Houses of Assembly to Hello? Hello? Yes, I'm with you. Go ahead. Yes, members of the Houses of Assembly do not have any moral authority to be able to give anybody any clean bill of health on this case. Because one of the facts, which was also accepted by uh, Obasa himself, shows that wives of members of the House of Assembly got four million naira each to travel abroad. This are indictments that members of the House of Assembly cannot on their own be a judge. Well, you you agree with me that all these remain um, on the realm of allegations if there is no proper investigation. So you referred to an independent investigation earlier. Who do you think would be best suited to carry out this independent investigation? Should that be done by the state or you're looking at the independent, um, not the EFCC or the ICPC? There is the EFCC, there is the ICPC. Obasa is a member of the state, is the speaker of the Lagos State House of Assembly. None, none of the structure of the states can give him a proper uh, hearing to the test of the masses of Lagos. So we are saying that the EFCC and the ICPC should come on this and also Negotiations on their own we should look at the credibility in all of these allegations because there's none of them, none of them, I repeat, that have been denied by Obasa or anybody within the House of Assembly. That is even what the panel, the, the House of Assembly panel has shown. They didn't deny any of the documents. Their position was that how did the document come out? 
That is a very wrong position. Do you, do you think that will discourage other people from whistleblowing if the House is now looking to punish those who um, leaked the alleged documents that are yet to be proven as indictment? Of course, of course, which also shows that whatever is being done by the House of Assembly is wrong. It's being shroud shrouded in secrecy. All the documents of the House of Assembly are supposed to be in public. We have been saying this for a very long time. The Lagos State budget is also being shrouded in secrecy. All of these documents are being shrouded in secrecy. So the House of Assembly have no right to punish anybody for bringing up the document. It is not being leaked. The document is the right of the public to know how the public money is being spent. And so all of these documents should come up to the public. Okay, so what are your next move, or rather, what is your next move on this matter? Because you, you, you think there is merit in it. What is your next yes. move? Now that the House has dismissed the matter, and we're yet to confirm that um, evidence has been presented to the EFCC, what part of action are you taking? First and foremost, we reject the position of the House of Assembly, and we believe that they cannot be a judge in their own case. Two, we are going to, in conjunction with other civil societies, continue to press our position. The documents are salient. The documents are being shown as being correct with what the House of Assembly panel has done, which means they didn't deny any of the documents. We are going to also press for that with activities, with protests, and we make sure that ICPC, EFCC, and any other independent panel of inquiry take up Obasa for these allegations and corruption. All right, Kunle Ajayi, thank you very much for sharing your thoughts on the news on the matter. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Good morning.